I was gonna cry a few minutes ago. I think I'm okay now. Maybe not. I don't know. Spur of the moment. I'm about to cry right now. Kill. It seems like yesterday that we went on our first date, and ever since that day, I have adored you. It didn't take me long to realize that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. You're my best friend. A vow is a solemn promise, a commitment from the deepest part of the soul that is not touched by time or space. And today, I will vow to love you in the midst of our friends and family, and most importantly, in front of God. For the rest of my life, I vow to choose you, to choose you above anyone else, above my family or friends, and even above myself. I promise to be your best friend, companion, and lover, and to cherish every moment I have with you. I promise to always give you the benefit of the doubt and to stand up for you even if the entire world is against you. I vow to honor and respect you and show you how grateful I am that you chose me to give your love to. I promise to do better at trying to be on time for things. Kel, I will love you until this life is over and on to the next. Being your wife will be my favorite adventure. I thought that day was going to be just another day of softball in a town that I'd never been to. Another day of being antisocial and only talking to the people I rode with. Little did I know I was going to meet the woman of my dreams in the town we now call home together. Ever since that day, my life has never been the same. Getting to marry you brings me joy that I've always wanted but never thought I deserved. You have went above and beyond for me in anything that I've asked. The fire in your heart for Jesus Christ makes me admire you so much and I promise to be the leader for our family so our future kids can have that same love for God. I promise to be your provider and give you everything that you, in my power. I promise to always let you put your cold feet on me to warm them up quicker, even though it doesn't work and only freezes me to death. I promise to love you as much in 80 years as I do now. I can't wait to go through this crazy, crazy world with you. This is going to be a great ride. I love you so much. Why are you not running on you? <laughs> Layla, beautiful baby. I love you so So, Kel, I'm going to ask you, if you would, to repeat after me with this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. It shall be. It shall be. A token of my love for you. A token of my love for you. In times of happiness. In times of happiness. In times of sadness. In times of sadness. I pledge this to you. I pledge this to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit of God. And the Holy Spirit of God. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. It shall be. It shall be. A token of my love for you. A token of my love for you. In times of happiness. In times of happiness. In times of sadness. In times of sadness. In the best times. In the best times. And the trying times. In the trying times. I pledge this to you. I pledge this to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit of God. And the Holy Spirit of God. In the compliance of the laws of the state of Louisiana, I do pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender Darling, you were meant to survive With every start We are born again Open your heart Spend this time in your head
like a seed in a garden.